crafters welcome back to day three of my countdown to Christmas so you know we've got our little Tom turkey here but it's time for him to go because we're going to instead of having turkeys on the porch we're going to use a tomato cage to make a really quick Christmas tree for the porch just using some festive garlands so what I've got with me here today is I have this tomato cage this is a 42 inch one you can do this with different sizes also but I've got a 42 inch tomato cage and then I've got this really nice long fluffy garland I actually have total of two strands here each strand was nine feet long and I just attached them in the middle so in all it's 18 feet of this garland so now is the time of year to get your tomato cage for this project because my Walmart has them for about a dollar right now ones like these and even bigger ones but the key is to get them now before they're gone so hopefully this week you can there's still some that you can find or maybe you have one left over from the summer but it's really simple this one I've got here it has the different you know rings at different heights and it has these posts going straight up and down so there's really not much to it I'm just gonna start by taking my end here hooking it around I'll just bend the garland in half to get it to hold and then I'm going to start wrapping really the only tip is you've got to make sure you don't end up with too much slack but I'm just gonna wrap I'm gonna keep twirling this one And now that I'm on the top, I'm just going to squeeze these together, wrap this around, kind of come inside there so that way it doesn't untwist and it'll float together. So now all that's left to do is to fluff this and make sure I fill in these spaces so there aren't any big holes in the tree. So on this side here, I've kind of got a gap here and it keeps because this piece keeps sliding down. So really simple to hold it in the middle. I'm just going to take one of these little pieces on the garland and wrap it around the post to just hold it in that place that I want and then I'll fluff this to fill in the rest of the gap. So just play with it and get it to fill in. So now that I've got my tree all together and I finished fluffing it, the last thing to do is decorate. You can decorate however you want. I've actually got this garland here. I saved these were a bunch of twist ties from something and they look really pretty. So I saved them and turned them into a Christmas garland. So it's kind of like a nice little upcycle project that the rest of my family was like, what is wrong with you for saving junk? But then it looks really cute on the tree. So I'm gonna put this garland on here. If my cat will stop playing with it. I'm also going to put some ornaments on this tree. I'm actually using glass ornaments, but I would recommend you get the shatterproof kind just because if it's outside, you know, they're more likely to break and it's harder to clean up. But here's a fun little tip on a way to put them on the tree. So I've got this cute little bow here that, you know, you can just twist on in the back. But instead of putting a hook on here, I'm just going to run both ends of the bow through the top of my ornament like that. And then I'll fasten it on the tree just by twisting the little pieces on. And it looks super cute to fasten them on the tree like this. And then just to top it all off, I'm going to put a nice bow at the very top of the tree. Kind of like in. You knock this thing over. Oh, this is gonna end poorly. 